Frankly, Mr. Brooks, no one is safe from you. This community can only be safe if you are behind bars for the rest of your life. The actions of Daryl Brooks demand punishment. The community is not safe from your violent and criminal conduct unless you are in custody. You left a path of destruction, chaos, death, injury, confusion, and panic as you drove seven or so blocks through the Christmas parade. Never once stopping or seemingly caring about the wake of carnage that you left. Four of those blocks were turned into a scene that frankly is no different than a war zone. On counts one through six, this court is imposing a life sentence without the possibility or eligibility for extended supervision consecutive to one another. One life sentence for Virginia Sorensen. One life sentence for Leanna Owen. One life sentence for Tamara Durand. One life sentence for Jane Kulik. One life sentence for Bill Hospel. And one life sentence for Jackson Sparks. I've considered the enhancer and the additional five years that I could impose, but I don't need to really order that because I've not made him eligible for extended supervision and it would only be to increase his time on initial confinement. But make no mistake, Mr. Brooks, you use that vehicle as a battering ram, no different than frankly a firearm. On counts 7 through 67, these are 61 counts of first degree recklessly endangering safety. These charges alone and these convictions without the enhancer carry a maximum of 12 and a half years. Because of the enhancer, a total of 17 and a half years. And under Wisconsin law, the five years is added to the initial term of confinement. So what could be seven and a half years is a maximum of 12 and a half years. And I'd ask that everyone no longer show any reaction to the sentence so I can get through this. On counts seven through 67, on each count, I will impose a total sentence of 17 and a half years. 12 and a half years of initial confinement plus five years of extended supervision consecutive to any other sentence that I've imposed here today. That is 762 and a half years of initial confinement and 305 years of extended supervision on top of the life sentences that I've imposed. That is 17 and a half years, sir, for Nicole White. 17 and a half years for Eleanor Andrews, Anders, excuse me, 17 and a half years for Sasha Catalan Castillo, 17 and a half years for Maura Gilchrist, 17 and a half years for Justin Gullickson, 17 and a half years for Harry Gilfoy, 17 and a half years for Aiden Lofgren. 17 and a half years for Theo Maza. 17 and a half years for Tyler Hudliner. 17 and a half years for Connor Tank. 17 and a half years for Eric Teagues. 17 and a half years for Adelia Mafioli. 17 and a half years for Kelly Graybow. 17 and a half years for Josh Craner. 
17 and a half years for Riley Rogers. 17 and a half years for Caden Rogers. 17 and a half years for Tucker Sparks. 17 and a half years for Isabella Bartlett. 17 and a half years for Yaritzi Becerra Montez. 17 and a half years for Samantha Coelho. 17 and a half years for Madison Hollingsworth. 17 and a half years for Mackenzie Hollingsworth. 17 and a half years for Mitchell Lampine. 17 and a half years for Kathleen Peelmeyer. 17 and a half years for Julia Schleikow. 17 and a half years for Olivia Stover. 17 and a half years for Jennifer Stover. 17 and a half years for Jessalyn Torres. 17 and a half years for Alice Urell. 17 and a half years for Charlotte Urell. 17 and a half years for Vivian Urell. 17 and a half years for Grayson Urell. 17 and a half years for Lola Hospel. 17 and a half years for Tamara Rosentreder. 17 and a half years for Betty Strang. 17 and a half years for Maria Alvarez Dominguez. 17 and a half years for Gregoria Romelia Perez. 17 and a half years for Elliot Hallmark. 17 and a half years for Benjamin Hallmark. 17 and a half years for Patrick Heppy. 17 and a half years for Lori Locken. 17 and a half years for Marisol Lopez Gutierrez. 17 and a half years for Adair Lopez Rubelar. 17 and a half years for Juan Marquez. 17 and a half years for David Marquez. 17 and a half years for William Mitchell. 17 and a half years for Jason Petchloff. 17 and a half years for Margaret Pachulis. 17 and a half years for Yamalet Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Island Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Ashley Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Jose Perales Alvarez. 17 and a half years for Maria Perez. 17 and a half years for Camilla Perez Gonzalez. 17 and a half years for Isaac Foglia. 17 and a half years for Deborah Ramirez. 17 and a half years for Charles Green. 17 and a half years for Lily Green. 17 and a half years for Brinley Harris. 17 and a half years for Kelsey Knapp. 17 and a half years for Owen Brasciotti. On counts 68 through 73, which are the six counts of hit and run resulting in death, these are 25 year felonies each, the court will do the following. On count 68, a 25 year total sentence, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision. This will be concurrent to count one. Count 69, the same sentence, 25 years total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count, six, to count two. Did I say that the right way, the first one? Okay, count 68 is concurrent to count one, count 69 is concurrent to count two. Count 70, 25 years total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count three. Count 71, 25 years total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count four. Count 72, 25 year total, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count five. And on count 73, a 25 year total sentence, 15 years of initial confinement, 10 years of extended supervision, concurrent to count six. 
on count 74 and 75, the two felony counts of bail jumping. The court is ordering a six year sentence total on each count, three years of initial confinement, three years of extended supervision, consecutive to all other counts, but concurrent with one another. And lastly, but certainly not least, the maximum sentence for the battery to De Erica Patterson, nine months consecutive to any other sentence. To order anything other than what I have done, sir, would be to unduly depreciate the seriousness of these offenses. Which it is needed, although largely symbolic, given the number of years that I have imposed here today, because frankly, you deserve it. I know it's symbolic, but it needs to hold you accountable in a very real and tangible way. For all of these sentences that I have imposed, I will order the following conditions. No contact with the victims as identified in the amended victim key or their families. No contact of any kind with Erica Patterson. You are to pay restitution in the amount of $47,193.29 to EMC Insurance Company, that's on behalf of the Waukesha School District, and $124,220.65 to the Crime Victim Compensation Program. I am ordering DNA surcharges on all counts. On counts one through 75, it's $250. On count 76, it's $200. Those are mandatory under the law. I'm also imposing the domestic abuse surcharge on count 76 of $100. I'm also imposing all standard court costs on all counts. Although my primary emphasis is that restitution be paid before costs, surcharges, and fees, I will order that restitution costs and fees be paid out of prison money um, in other words, that all financial obligations shall be collected pursuant to statutory provisions as requested by the state. That's frankly a standard, it's customary, uh, but it will be in the judgment of conviction. And then pursuant to 949.165, I'll find that it is appropriate for this court to order an escrow account under 949.165 for payment of restitution costs, fees, surcharges, and even for costs associated with prior legal representation or future representation under the statute. Mr. Brooks has been convicted of a number of serious crimes for which this section is appropriate. I will order 360 days credit as to count one and count 68. Only all other counts, zero days credit because of the consecutive nature of the sentences that I've imposed here today. I calculated that uh, with my sentence calculator. Of course, that is through yesterday because these sentences commence today. There are a number of advisements I must go through. Um, first of all, Mr. Brooks will be provided with a written explanation of determinate life sentence regarding uh, the First degree intentional homicide charges. Of course, he's not eligible for release to extended supervision. That form uh, defines uh, extended confinement for him. And there's um, other language on here that he can read at his convenience. He also will be provided with the notice of right to seek post-conviction relief form. Um, the court will fill out the caption for him. He is instructed to review it. Uh, and review the defendant's acknowledgement, make the appropriate selection, sign and date it, and return that to the court. I must advise you, sir, you have been convicted of a felony. That means you may not vote in any election until your civil rights are restored. You may not possess a firearm. You may not possess body armor. Both of those are punishable as felonies. You also have 20 days from today's date to appeal the decision of this court. Does the state believe I've overlooked anything here today? No, thank you, Your Honor. All right, those documents will be provided to Mr. Brooks. I will note for the record at 
Many times during my final sentencing remarks, he was holding up an objection sign. That objection is noted for the record. This now concludes this hearing and this case. We are now off the record. Do you want to do the motion to stay pending appeal or we could do um, it another day? I want to day. wait until I sign the judgment of conviction. Um, I'm not making any determinations uh, regarding where he is to be held. Um, that certainly is within the, once the judgment of conviction of signed, is signed, I'll address the motion for stay pending appeal. Uh, but my understanding is he needs to be transported to Milwaukee and I will, not in this, I will not stand in the way of that. All right, I'll schedule that once the judgment of conviction is signed. Understood. We are in Thank recess. You. Okay. Thank you, everyone.